It's time! Hello, this is Caveman PRDR, and welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. Welcome to another VOD review. This is a uh, actually going to be a different one than I usually do. This will actually be for a uh, Halo 5 match played on the solo duo uh, the solo duo Q uh, team arena playlist for the uh, with the HCS settings for Halo 5. Um this is a uh, this is a CTF uh, time return HCS settings on uh, the map known as Refuge, which in H2 is commonly referred to as Saint. Uh, start getting into the gameplay. So right off the rip, I go after rockets. Usually I don't make this push. I'll either make a push toward... Uh, I usually either make a push toward our car side, or I'll push toward... Uh, our snipe. It completely depends on our spawn for my spawn. If I feel like I have a pretty good spawn for snipe, I'll just push for snipe. And then push into ring two. But right off the rip, I just went for this. Um, I want to get emphasis on getting some control here, especially since they just pulled our flag. And I knew they had someone on our side of the flag, so I was trying to get that over control. I see my team fighting back over towards snipe, so I get in the front there. So I'm just trying to see where, where all my team's shooting out. I see them fighting over towards the but... No, I'm not the biggest fan of my team right here. But I am uh, I am kind of sneakily behind two of their teammates. It's pretty good. Actually, I think I'll do some damage. But anyway, easy double kill. Killing spree. Double kill. I'm pretty sure magnetism helped me out a little bit right there. So this is funny. I had every intention of pulling the flag right there, and I press I press the B button. I play on uh, I play on bullet number. So I had every intention of pulling the flag right there. I just whiffed. <laughs> I whiffed so hard. So yeah, my team my teammates over here are preoccupying the uh, a couple of the guys over here. Okay. Spawn. Since we've wiped out car side, they're pretty much going to be spawning their snipe hut. So I'm trying to see right here and get my head back. Now since I see that nade, I do know there's going to be one guy right here. Now I do, now because I know they're spawning snipe hut and that we had just killed more than one, they're more than likely going to have the rest of the team or whoever else re coming off of respawn to fight me there over at their flag. So I die because it's a numbers mismatch. They actually uh, had managed to get some of the flag. flag. And again, I do uh, I do one of my more common pushes on this map. Push toward uh, the blue or car Walsh. And I pick up the uh, I pick up the tech mag. Keeps you silent. It keeps you silent on this radar. So I like picking up the tag mag. And tech mag spawns on uh, on the car and Walsh's. So it's pretty good. And I am, uh, I am kind of talking to her at, uh, Weapon pad an hour sign clip. Perfect. So, I just try to do a little bit of movement to get away. Weapon pads up. Them. I, I knew there was at least one guy that I saw. Blue flag, take so I'm trying to just play on top of our snipe. I know, uh, I know it's very likely that one's under snipe hut, and I know one guy just. Didn't die. So I'm trying to stay alive. I know we're down with two people right here, and I know I need to get in. I know I need to park this guy kill. with a flag carrier. I know we still have a guy on our side because he was over in snipe hut. That would have almost been my second triple kill of the match. I do, I do a pretty good job of putting some damage on the, uh, on the sniper there. That's just out the open. His positioning is good. My positioning over the, uh, the car side for the blue car and blue car bridge was just kill. super good. Killing spree. For him. Kill. Anyway, I get into their, uh, I love, I love getting in the blue car wash versus red car washy. 
and then going over toward their snipe hut. So that way, whenever we get slays, we're gonna have someone in their snipe hut. So it's gonna force them to spawn, uh, force them to spawn their bombs. And it's easier to kill, it's easier to kill the enemy team out of their rocks than it is out of their snipe hut. So that's why I made that most previous push. So once again, you see me coming off respawn at rocks, I push straight toward Walsh, and I go over toward their snipe hut. I want to get eyes up above their, uh, above their rocks because I know they're going to respawn. I want to be able to see all these people that are running out in the open, just like that guy that ran into ring one here. Now this is this is probably going to be the only VOD review you ever see of someone never jumping up to ring three. High uh, high prioritization is pretty important, but I I never bother doing the ring three jump in this game. I just. I've, I've not practiced it enough, to be honest. It is super easy. I've done it before. It's just a, another thing. I don't put that to bed. So. You, can, you can shoot and kill someone so fast in this map or in this game anyway. It's just like, um, it, it doesn't really matter. Red carrier spotted. So anyway, I'm, I'm doing like I said earlier. I'm trying to get some... I'm trying to get some positioning in there, in there, over their snipe hut, so I can look down, so I can use some of that height advantage to look down at the rocks at out in their front door. And uh, if we uh, can get a numbers advantage, or if I can help my teammates across the map, I'll look there and go back over toward them. That was to actually uh, clutch return. Weapon pads open. Red flag clutch flag return. return. So I try to stay alive there. Now, I kind of thought that was a little bit of BS on that rocket spot, but he might have shot the rocket lower than I thought. I tried to thrust forward, and because it was a lower elevation, I figured I could fall down. But ultimately, it's whatever. We, we end up killing the guy, and I know I just saw a guy, when I was in the middle of that last fight, I know I saw a guy over a sign play. Pushing, and I kill him. I don't know if this was our snipe that was left over or it was a snipe from their team, but anyway, I pick up one. I do absolutely nothing. Like, I, I, I literally just shoot through the uh, the Walsh bridge, or the Walsh arch. Sadly, I die immediately with it. The one game I, like, actually go off, and the one time I touch snipe, snipe's actually just, like, I think that's the only snipe that I get. And I see that there are two ring two, and I see, uh, and I know one just pulled our flag. I, I re pick up snipe, and I try to sprint away with it. Now I'm trying to do any amount of uh, unorthodox moves that I can, and generally people don't sprint around one shot, but uh, I had to do it right there, otherwise I was going to lose snipe, which I lost snipe anyway. Actually, Red flag. Yeah, Take I lost snipe to the guy that killed me. With the so I see that they're I see they're running flag under our car to their sniper hut. So I decide that I need to uh, I need to get some height advantage over from from ring two to kill this guy. So he he ran like I said he ran the flag. I do I did a couple of really clutch pre nades off the back of the wall and uh, try to stop. Him. Stop the run. Now, sadly, we are forcing respawns. We are literally forcing respawns right where I'm trying to fight them. <laughs> so, ideally, there we don't uh, we don't do that. I'm literally trying to stand over there to keep them from capping the flag, and they do cap the flag. Our team is standing somewhere. They're prob our team's probably standing in rocks, to be honest, in their rocks. And it's forcing the it forced the respawn on for their team onto the snipe hut where I'm trying to get the flag returned. So that's just super unfortunate. But uh And by the way, that's like another three and a half minutes and like no caps. 
this game literally ends two to one. It's just like it's so fast. But I'm looking over once again. I'm just not quite looking over at rockets. And Ten seconds to weapon pads. Trying to see. Weapon pads up. No, they get they get a couple nades at me. Or I can't get away. Or I'm shot down one, one shot, but it's fine. Because I'm forcing them to fight on their side of the map. It, it gives me a little bit of time to respawn and then reposition off of the fight. Or reposition off of the uh, previous fight. So, once again, I, I, see, I, see their, uh, I see their sniper. I actually go to pressure this. I know there's two. They're actually able to push target. So I guess they're starting to Red get a little bit. Taken. I guess that one guy was starting to get peed. And then he did not. That's the next target of sniper, basically. Blue carrier spotted. So I see where uh, we started. We pulled the flag and we started running it, but and that wasn't Two that wasn't a bad left. idea because we were killing people. We were killing people at HUD, so we forced them to spawn rocks or closer. Blue carrier spotted. Uh, Sadly, we didn't really have any follow-up on that. So they get the easy return. And that's another thing about Halo 5, is that it's so easy for you to come back up and spawn and talk spawn into something. Like, your team can get really... Red flag your return. team can get just wiped. You Red get absolutely reset. wiped. And it wouldn't even matter. I was kind of disappointed that wasn't a triple kill. But the rocket was oh, wasn't good. I know my teammate just died under our uh, wall sheet, so I'm trying to find who this guy was. I assumed he was in our rocks at first, but he was actually on their side of the wall sheet. Nah, I was over here trying to be slick, thinking I could just without the last shot to kill that guy. But, uh, he wasn't having it. Overall, this was this was just a this was just a slave fest. I see, I see. I guess this is a guy with their snipe. Red flag. Take and I just move over here to try and see. Comes over, and I know I've got. I know I'm up a few shots on him, so I can just play aggressive here. He waste the last of uh, waste the last couple shots of his snipe ammo. I saw on the radar where a guy was coming in behind seconds. me, so I knew I could do if he if he was come wanting to engage on me instead of pulling the flag, flag which he would need to slay me Red to pull the flag. Reset. He's gonna come up behind me because I just killed his teammate last time. So I do a cheeky little grenade off of the back wall and do some extra damage on him early because I know I'm still gonna be damaged from the fight with the sniper, and I get the kill. Fall down in front of me one shot. 41, 41. And that is the game. We won 2 to 1. I think I went, if I'm not mistaken, I went 42, 8, and 12. Hello, this is Caveman PRDR. Thank you for joining me on another one of my YouTube videos today. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and comment down below any questions or uh, comments that you have about the content, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.